Introvert Circus. I'm Sassafras and this is Sirius and today we are going to do another training tutorial and today we are going to teach you the fun trick of, I know, your dog walking through your legs in a figure eight pattern. So what that looks like is the beginning stages. It's a very cute bag. Did you forget? Sirius, leaf. There. for the walking weave trick, which you saw at the beginning of this, and it's a really fun trick for dogs of all sizes. It looks impressive, and it's, I know, really fun to master. So for this trick, you're gonna want to have treats. Uh, I'm just training with some kibble. If this is new for your dog, you wanna start with something a little more high value than that probably. So this one is a big weirdo and really likes crunchy treats, huh? That's good. If you missed our bounce tutorial from two days ago, definitely check that out. I'll leave the link in the comments. So for this trick, you want to use a technique that we call luring, and it is one of my favorite ways for teaching a lot of tricks like this. There's lots of ways to treat, to treat, to also to treat, but to teach tricks to your dog or really anything to your dog from luring to capturing to shaping. But for tricks like this, it works really well to drop treats so your dog can eat them to lure them into position because this isn't behavior that your dog is likely to offer on their own and so what you want to do is have a treat on their nose and you're going to then use that treat i like to have treats in both hands for this to so just lure them between your legs pick up that other treat good and to start with just start on going one time through the finished product as you saw will be them weaving in and out of your legs but to start it's going to meet their nose there Pull them right around through and around your leg. Good girl. So in that way, they're just following the treat. And you put them basically where you want them to go because their nose follows the treat and the rest of their body follows the nose. So you have treats in both hands. Reach through. Pull around. Good. And then you can start to pick it up. Good. And go all the way into the full figure eight before you treat once they're getting confident. But again, to start, you want to just start with the one time through and around. Good girl. And make sure you go both ways, around, good girl. And if your dog is nervous about coming through your legs because it's not something they've done before, a lot of really small dogs can be foot shy with you because they maybe have been accidentally stepped on or tripped over. It's much harder to trip over you. You can start by just throw it, getting their attention, throwing a treat through your legs and sending them behind you if they have sort of any nervousness about following a treat through your legs. But if they don't, you just want to get a treat on their nose, lure them right through and around, pick them up on this side, through and around. Good girl. So once you've done several repetitions of that over different training sessions and they're confidently following, you can start to add in the verbal cue of your choice. I know. We would have two. I use eight and weave kind of interchangeably. Technically, uh, this is a do as I say, don't as I do. Uh, eight means we're doing it stationary. Weave means we're gonna be walking forward in this position. So eight, good, eight, good. She's also really heavily looking at the cues there. Those cues do eventually become something that you can fade away as you saw in the beginning and I'll show you again, she's able to do walking leg weaves um, without any physical cues at all. But as you're starting to get more familiar with it, you're still gonna be luring and you're gonna add in, get your dog's attention, pull them through, eight, right as they come through, good girl, use the cue that you want, you can call it absolutely anything and introduce that verbal cue as they come around, eight, good girl, give them the treat. So that's gonna be your beginning steps for starting to introduce the cue. And then after several sessions, you now have your cue in place, you can start to begin to slowly fade out the, the treat lure um, as much. And your hand signal that you've been using to lure becomes the signal, I know, the signal. Eight, good, eight. So then they're coming through, they're following your hand. Eight, good, good girl. And when you're first starting, you don't want to do a lot of repetitions. You just will ask for the first one through. When they do it, yay, treat. So eight, this eight, good girl. So then I would treat right away. I didn't have a treat in my hand. And you're gonna build that up over time to be able to get 
I know. More repetitions in eight. Just go eight. Yes. Eight. Yes. Eight. Good girl. Eight. Yes. Nice job. And that's what sort of the figure eight looks like. And over time, you're able to build up the duration, how many eights you do, and also start to fade out your hand signals for it. So right away, right, we have our hand seems, on our dog's, or our treat in our hand, dog's nose on that, they're really just following it. Eight, good, and eight. Then the hand signal begins to fade out. The more repetitions and the more comfortable your dog gets with it. Good girl. So the figure eight trick then, when done, eight, tricky because you guys are both in motion together. Good girl. So let me know if that's of interest. I can absolutely make that in another vlog this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Let me know in the comments if your dog does walking leg weaves and let us know if you have any requests for vlogmas videos. Seriously, I can't see your pretty face. We would love to make videos that you guys are looking for. We're going to be making videos all month long. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Can you wave goodbye to the people? That's a bounce. Can you wave? Yay! Nice job, girly. Bye-bye! Wave.